It's a one mile it's a one mile, one furlong race. It's with a handicap zero to eighty rated for the three year olds and older. It's a big field, Cleopatra, thirty three to one, hot Odalis, that's fifteen to two, outflank four to one. Then Con's problem, eleven to two for that one. The favourite, the joint favourite here, Sea of Tar, seven to two joint favourite with Longfort, fifteen to two. Mark Ross Raver, that's also finding some money at seven to two. Then you can find a few outsiders. Twenty four runners take to the post for this race for the one mile, one furlong. Tara and Pippa handicap. They sent on their way. Bit of a slow jump was one of the favourites. That is Sea of Tor. As well as Derby Day. They didn't get away too well. We'll give them some time to come around this bend. A lot of them using up quite a bit of energy. Modern Day Icon, Cleopatra, Mohawk, Fleet, Longfort. And they're all using up quite a bit of energy. Agnes Tara is also further back. And Sea of Tar made up many lengths from that bad jump. And is now settling in about five lengths from the leader. Then we have a bunched up runners for in the midfield that's points washington then you can find barney fi uh, five foxley truffle polly black that's me girl caroline derby day and at the back timeless spirit is going to have to catch them all with five furlongs left to go as they make that long turn in for home they're about to approach that turn it's modern day icon who has it by about a head from in second cleopatra the gray then it's a four length gap to long forward out flank further back sea of tar that's looking to to make a bit of progress mark rose raver is also now starting to look dangerous as he starts to approach upwards and they hit that uphill battle now modern day icon how much does he have left in the tank cleopatra's in second he's at the rail sea of tars also running on quite nicely as well as outflank macros raver long fort points washington share Mawson. Tahiti image is also looking to run on nicely, but it's modern day icon as they get down to the last two furlongs. Cleopatra is now in second. Sea of Tar from the back of the field. Sea of Tar is making a lot of work here. And he's getting closer with each and every stride. Cleopatra towards the inside. And in the in the middle of the green, that's Mokros Raver, who's also looking to finish quite strongly. But it's Cleopatra has picked it up into the closing stages. And it's Mokros Raver is not done with the fight. It's now head to head. Eyeball to eyeball. It's Mokros Raver. Cleopatra, take your pick. Macros Raider put his head down, wins. Cleopatra second. Very close for third. Not sure who got there. The Tara and Pippa handicap all belongs to. There's the confirmation to Mock Roz Raver. 7 to 2 favorite prevails. The 50 to 1 keeps the 50 to 1. Cleopatra D, uh, D French at bay. C of Tar ran a good whiff. Maybe, uh, maybe if C of Tar just jumped a little bit better, that one would have been in the race. Further back, Long Fort. And then uh, the race of the really couldn't find out. I was quite surprised with Modern Day Icon. Looked like he had a lot of running, a lot of horse under him. But uh, when Turner asked for more, Modern Day Icon went to the back door. But it's a good one here.